Sophia Soto with the Nerds of Color, and I'm a huge fan of yours. Thank you for taking the time. I'm a huge fan of you. Look at you. You look fantastic. I oh. love your style here. Oh, oh my gosh. You're gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Um, I'm so excited to see you in the series. Like I said, I'm a fan of yours. So I want to start off by asking what initially attracted you to the project here. Um, it was a culmination of things. I've got to be real. Um, it, it was really who was attached. And, and of course, the role. The role is always, always that, the role. Um, and, and because she's such a, a badass, you know, she takes no prisoners. And she's so unapologetic. I think, well, that's got to be fun. And... Um, and then to get to work with, with Alejandro Amenabar, who, you know, uh, obviously some of his work, and, and then and Sammy Tucci and Clark Peters, who I'm a massive fan of. So to get to work with those cats and shooting in Madrid, I mean, it was just, yeah, it, it was an easy yes. It was a very easy yes. And obviously, you know, I have to say to you, I love when I see strong, badass female characters on my screen. Do you always yes. look for that in your roles? Like you want to, you know, bring more of those types? We don't always get those in, in television. I, I think I'm just very fortunate to have an amazing team. My agent, um, Icky, from Identity Agency Group, has really, uh, really sort of shaped my career. And sometimes without me knowing, just turns down a lot of work and offers. <laughs> and so, like, oh, okay, that happened. Um, so that I'd be really fortunate in that regard. Uh, and I think once you kind of play a couple, they sort of, people sort of, you know, tend to uh, see you in that light. And I think the shaved head, I know it's very common now, but I've had this for like 20 years. Yeah. So I think that's a statement in and of itself. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, yeah, so hence the kind of roles that I, I play. Definitely. And I also want to ask you, is there an aspect of this character that maybe challenged you in a way that your other roles haven't? I think coming personally coming to grips with, because you've always got to back your character, right? You can't, yeah. you know, if you, you think they're an arsehole, you, you can't. It's very, it's very hard to play an arsehole. You think you're an arsehole, that character's an arsehole. So yeah, from the Bosnia, yeah, she's an arsehole. She's a complete dickhead. But how I reckoned with her was, in terms of her greed, was that in a society, a global society that we live in, um, capitalism and greed is what's moving people forward and you can either jump on it or get left behind. And that's my sort of reason. And that was a, it was a struggle. I had to kind of sit there and go, okay, well, how do I not hate this bitch? Because she's a bitch. <laughs> how, do I, how do I do that? And, and, and so that, it was that. It was like, okay, well, this is, this is her reparations. You know? <laughs> I love it. That must be the funnest characters to play though, when you have to sit and kind of, you know, figure it out. I, I think that's- Yeah, that's yeah, really cool. yeah. Yeah, and uh, you kind of touched on this, but the cast is just absolutely amazing. I was so excited to see you part of this lineup, but also just everyone come together. Do you have a yeah. favorite filming memory from, from your time with the cast? Oh. This is going to sound really wanky, but I think it was um, it was actually when we had wrapped. So we just finished the court scenes, and and this is testimony to the Spanish uh, film crew and to Alejandro, really, especially. Yeah, more to Alejandro than in Spanish, but um, you know the essays have been with us all week. Um, the first AD made the uh, assistants, the runners, learn every single essay's name. Every that's unheard of. It doesn't happen. Yeah. Right, you know, and when you wrap a scene and you close that, finish that location, and you get a clap, the actors and the da, 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 da. the whole crew stopped down tools and clapped and applauded the essays. And it was, it was a really touching moment, actually. And, and because they were treated with such respect, they, they gave, they just gave and, and, and it meant that it didn't feel like a separation. Often it feels like you're very separated from the crew or from the essays and, you know, you're just sort of set in this bubble, which is this hierarchical bullshit, um, which I, I struggle with on set. Um, but it felt like being part of a greater team. You know, they, and they, of course, they are just as important as the principal actors. And, and, and that way it felt like theatre, really. You know, it felt like a true ensemble. Um, and so that's probably my, the, the memory that sticks out the most. That's and beautiful. and Clark Peters with his Spanish. 
Kotak. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> shout out directions in Spanish. <laughs> And the, the, you know, you kind of touched on this as well. The location you guys filmed at, oh my gosh, I have to imagine what a dream that was. Do you have a favorite place you got to visit or film at or anything like that? Um, not filming, but it was, we were in Madrid and I date, I, have you been to Madrid? I haven't. I've wanted oh my God. so bad. Oh my, you've got to go. It is amazing. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's stunning. You have everything there. You know, you have bars, the most amazing restaurants, places to die. I went raving with my dog. In my it was a puppy. I love it. And then you have Casa de Campo, which is like this nature, it's nature reserve. It's just, you have everything at your fingertips, you know? And That's it's just so warm. It's, I love the lifestyle. Yeah. Oh, I ha I'm, I'm hoping one day, hopefully. Oh yeah. my gosh. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> And the adventure thriller genre is such a fun one for audiences to watch. Yeah. What do you enjoy most about doing that as an actress? The, the, the adventure thriller? Yeah. Um, I mean, that's a good question. I don't know. I just, <laughs> I mean, as a genre, I mean, to watch it, it's not so much to do, and I feel like I was part of that chase. I mean, it was... Yeah. Some saying, but I think that's more sort of Alvaro and Anna's and Clark's journey. They had they, a bigger journey in that respect than than my character did. Um, but I think it's the it, it, what about I love about Alejandro's writing is the unexpected twists, yeah. you know, and the obstacles and obstacles and because it's based in true life. You know what he's done with that, I think is is great. And as an audience member, it's it's anticipation, isn't it, of what what happens next? Yeah. And speaking of the audience, what are you most excited for them to see either from your performance as this character or the show as a whole, or maybe some of the twists and turns? Because I always love those as an audience member. Those yes, part. exactly. Well, there's a twist at the end. It sort of turns in an unexpected direction um, in terms of like the court in the courtroom scenes. Mm -hmm. But I think really what I'm excited for the audience is to really kind of, when they finish watching it, is to take stock and work out who they think is the villain and who's the hero yeah. and, and what the shades of gray are. I, yeah. And if they listen carefully, I think it's gonna, there'll be some conflicting uh, opinions, I think, on this. Those uh, are the best ones. I, yeah, that's what I'm excited to, to, to learn. Yeah. Once it's all out. Now, when you, when you got the script originally and got the role, did you get to kind of know how it was going to go or did you kind of take it script by script? Did they tell you how all the twists were going to go or were you like surprised like the audience will be? I mean, no, because it's based in real life. So it sort of already happened. Yeah. Um, so so I, I knew, but I, I did get all the scripts yeah. um, in the beginning. Of course, there are rewrites. There's always rewrites. But um, yeah, I knew, the, I knew the journey of it. Um, but yeah, it was great to see it unfold. There's one thing reading it and then doing it and yeah. saying it is, is completely different. And what was beautiful for me is because, of course, I never really got to work with um, Alvaro or Anna too much. Um, who are the most adorable creatures they really are. Uh, and we so we socialised like Offset, but to see the work, to see the stuff and that was shot. Um, oh, my God, Cara, Cara. God, I can't say his name, it's really stupid, but I'm never in any of these scenes. And we met at the premiere in Spain. <sighs> and just said, I was like, I, I wish I could have worked with him more. So to see the Spanish side, all the Spanish stuff was just, it's great, it's a real treat. It's a real treat for me, yeah. Definitely. Well, thank you so much, Tania, for taking oh, time. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Nice to speak to you. It's lovely nice to meet you. And well. listen, if you're ever in Madrid, I'm just across the border. Oh my gosh. I will take you on if I ever go. Yeah, listen, you've got to go to Malasania, Troika, or Cheka. Oh say my God. gosh. Hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Thank you so much. Huge congrats. Oh, thank you. Lots of love.